how many marks do I need to get 99th percentile? That's a question we are looking for here. From now, you should look to take 15 to 20 marks. Is that a guarantee to take you to 99th percentile? Of course not. There are no guarantees in this world. And so you give yourself a better and better chance of getting higher percentile if you take your marks seriously. That's it. There's nothing more than that. Right? So in, when you're taking your marks, there will be a temptation to, to chase a score and do your level best to dump that. You need to say, look, I'm going to max myself. I'm going to hit the best score I can. But don't go in saying, look, I attempted 53 questions in the last mock. It ended up ended up with a 70th percentile. I really want 92nd percentile. I'm going to attempt 71 questions. Of course, you can attempt 71 questions. But the moment you set yourself for that target, it's, it, 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 it's, it's a pain point. So be very careful about that. Right? So, so 99th percentile, this number of mock gets you to 99th percentile. There's no such algorithm. So forget about that. So what should you do? Your mock scores are likely going to plateau every now and then. If your, if your mock scores are improving at all, then they'll go from one plateau to another, then to another. Right? Make sure that you do your best to not have volatile mock scores. That means you're taking chances. You'll end up with 92 in one and 56 in the other. Right? So make sure your scores are steady. Make sure that you, your strategy is in a place where you go in and say, look, I know no matter what is thrown at me, I can land at the 85th percentile. And if I'm lucky, if things go my way, I'm looking at 93. But you cannot be the person who says, look, I've taken a mark. Maybe it's 94, maybe it's 73. What do I know about it? You can't be that person. So be, be uh, consolidate your, your, your preparation and your create your strategy around certainties to the extent possible, where you say, look, no matter how tough it is, I know my strengths. I think I can nail 11 questions in quant. I'm going to find those 11 first, put them in the bag. If it's an easy paper, I've done 11 questions in 25 minutes. It's a really tough paper. At 60th minute, I'm barely at the 11th question. So, but I know that in both cases, I'm doing well. That should be your, your approach when you're going for this. Mock scores will necessarily move in plateau. Something falls in place, you're assured of this score, and then you try a new strategy to do another 5 percentile higher. It, if it is volatile, then you're taking too many chances. So have one leg completely anchored in accuracy and then try out different things. Don't, don't, don't have a free for all strategy where you try different things, one different thing every mock. You need to consolidate, have your plan. And then I say, look, this seems to be working for me. I'm going to try this one new thing over the next three mocks and see how it goes. For all of this, we will need to do quite a few mocks. You should look to do at least 15 mocks in the last 50 days. So be very clear and have a well thought out strategy for that. If everything else takes a backseat, that's all right. If you have to sacrifice everything else, you have time to do only this. You can do 15 mocks and review them. You don't have time to do anything else. Do that. And then if something else can be done on top of that, chase that. Right? Best wishes for that.